When you have a lot of notes in Evernote, like I do, it's helpful to create links between them. But for some time, it was a challenge to go from the linked page back to the original note. I'm Dave Edwards, Evernote certified expert with another insight into using Evernote. So when Evernote introduced backlinks, well, that feature allows you to complete the circle. You can now link to a note and then create a backlink. Sid Tipperetti is Senior Product Manager at Evernote, and he joined me to discuss how that feature came together. Sid, thank you very much for joining us today. And I know you have uh, you've been a Senior Product Manager at Evernote. You've seen a lot of exciting things happen in this, in this last year. And one of them has been the introduction of backlinks. For those people who are not familiar, just define what is a backlink? So backlink is uh, essentially um, a mechanism for you to traverse between different notes that are linked to each other. So say you have a note linked in another note um, and you, you click on that note to traverse to the uh, target note and you want to quickly go back and forth between the two. So backlinks is a way to um, do that. And I can show it to you in a bit um, on my screen. Okay. Um, and essentially the idea, I mean, it's um, there's a couple of different reasons why we got into it. Um, one is um, it's it's one of the most frequently requested um, feature um, when we look at our forums or when we look at our customer uh, uh, support calls, like any 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 kind of like uh, you know source that we look at, like it's it's always it it's been very clear from the get go that like backlinks is is a thing that um, our users want, and to some degree I think uh, we were kind of like. Um, lagging i mean i wouldn't say lagging behind but like it's also a matter of like you know being like competitive um when we look at like the competitive landscape like we see that like it's uh, it's table stakes so there was like no question in our mind that like that we needed to uh, go ahead and do that yeah i've been i've been an evernote user for you know like forever and uh it's funny that when i first started using it i i was like why can't i link back from a note and then i just kind of got so used to just backing on the screen that I kind of forgot how important that link would be. But now that I have it, man, it's yeah. wonderful. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, and I've been an Evernote user for like a good 10 years now, I think. And that's like one of the things that I, I used to wish for too. So I was like, you know, uh, it was yeah. all, almost like a personal sort of a project. So take me behind the scenes. when When the company decides to add a feature like that, I mean, what all, it sounds like it would be simple to do, but my guess is there's a lot of moving pieces. So what were some of the challenges of doing that? So, uh, I mean, uh, from a, well, let's, if, if we break it out into like, um, from a technical standpoint and from like just a usability or from a user perspective. Uh, so let's look at the user perspective. So from a user perspective, it wasn't like um, that much of a challenge that, uh, we had to convince people in the company that like this was needed. Everybody agreed that it was uh, needed. The biggest challenge was like, and this is where we spent a lot of time by like, doing user research, was uh, um, um, uh, you know the name, the naming of the feature, like backlinks, right? Like, so if does does that does that convey like what it, what it is actually meant to do, or are, are users getting like confused or like? Um, so we, we spent a lot of like we I think a big chunk of the time was actually spent on that aspect like trying to figure out like what makes most sense to users and you know of course there's never like a solution or or a, or a way that works perfectly for everybody so but you know um, we had to make some calls and then finally we landed on backlinks as 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 the as what we wanted to, as as the final name for the future uh, from a technical standpoint. Um, I mean, I don't want to get, go into like a lot of details, but essentially, like you know, we had to like change a few things uh, on the back end um, in terms of like how linking works within Evernote uh, in order for uh, this to uh, in order for us to enable this uh, feature. Um, and um, you know, there's there's more things in the pipeline um, with regards to linking overall as as an area within Evernote that you know that you might see um, some new features and like some changes to the existing features and um, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Man, I would imagine because you have to make it work on all different platforms, that adds mm -hmm. a unique challenge too. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, like, um, it, you know, one of the things um, uh, when we rolled out the feature, um, you know, there was, um, 
there was a lag in between uh, like i think it was like about a 24 hour lag between the t- feature being turned on on desktop versus mobile and you know we already started getting like um, you know calls from our customers like asking us like you know what was going on so that was just a I mean, it was like, um, you know, it, it wasn't supposed to happen that way, but we, we couldn't avoid it. Um, so, um, so yeah, it's, it's always exciting anytime like a new feature is getting rolled out. Well, would you mind sharing your screen and giving us a tour, letting us know how it works? Sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is like, I'll show you like um, a setup that's already in place. And then I can show you how to create like a similar sort of a thing from scratch. So let's say um, I was working on a book on... I don't know, like history of Roman Empire, right? So um, I have a note uh, which uh, lists out li- lists out all the um, chapters within the book. So think of it like a table of contents. Um, so uh, let's say we go to chapter one. So this is the chapter. Like let's imagine like there's like a bunch of stuff written in here. Uh, so over here you will see that there's like this new thing that has popped up on the corner of the editor, um, and it says backlinks, and it it lists or it, it counts the number of backlinks that are uh, that are um, in the drop down menu at the, at the moment so when i uh, click on that i'll see that um, you know I, I would see table of contents which is the originating uh, note so when i click on that it takes me back to table of contents now the thing is you can uh, so you can say like like you were saying earlier right like you can just use back button to go back right so you, you're here and then if you click on the back button you're back to table of contents. So this is where uh, you know backlinks helps. Um, so let's let's go back to the same example. So chapter one, and now you're um, you know you have like another note, a se- completely separate note uh, with some research notes. So you can go back to that note from here, and then you can you can keep going deeper and deeper, and then the backlinks will always take you back like one step. Uh, but say you were back in. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so say you're back in table of contents. Now you're you're in chapter two, and now you want to quickly go to chapter four. So the w- way for you to do that would be just go back to table of contents and click on chapter four. So rather than like just going click keep on, the 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 other alternative would have been to just keep on clicking like back button, go back to the um, left nav, or at least the um, notes panel, and you know, just go to the go to the note that you wanted to go to. So this and this is, I mean, right now I only have like one backlink. So imagine like a scenario where you have like say ten or more backlinks. That's a scenario where this will really sh- sort of like that's where you'll get your back for buck uh, because uh, all your ideas are essentially interconnected that way. So you make notes on a on a particular topic, but you want like a separate set of notes that cover like a broader topic, but you want to link to those notes. So in a scenario like that, where there's a lot of linkages happening within your own notes, that's where uh, you'll see the benefit uh, the most, like, when, you know, using backlinks. Is there, a, is there a capacity? Is there a maximum number of link backlinks that it will display in that uh, little box in the upper right? Um, so there's no capacity as such, but after a point, like, you'll have to scroll up. So um, the default is that it will, I think it shows, like, um, I want to say six back to five or six backlinks. I don't remember from the top of my head, uh, but essentially, like as soon as it fills it up, fills that up, then you'd have to like scroll up. Right. But there's no, there's no capacity as such. Uh, some time ago, I um, I wrote a book, and uh, it's funny that you use this example of of a book with different chapters. And I had I did it all in Evernote, and I had all my research in Evernote, and then I started writing it in Evernote. And because I didn't have the backlinks feature, I mean, I was just getting confused. I, I had to get out of Evernote and start writing it in a Word doc because I couldn't flip back and forth yeah. as fast as I'd want to. And this just makes it, it's just so intuitive yeah. uh, uh, that, that you can just keep it all uh, managing it between different notebooks. Yeah. And, and the reason why I picked like the example of book is not because I knew that you you had that use case but i actually uh was like working on a on a book myself like a like a side project so I, this was like one of my like literally this is this is something that i wished there was an evernote so i just got to like work on that feature so that's how it worked out so now that this feature is up and running i mean have you and others kind of uncovered 
some extra tips that maybe you didn't even think about when you were first designing this where it goes, wow, now this this really helps here? Um, I, I mean, like uh, when we look at the feedback, it's just been like very positive. People have come back with like, uh, not just like how it's helped them, but like also we've already started getting like um, suggestions on how it can be improved and like what, what people think is like missing. So um, it's, I think it's far too early for us to say that, you know, beyond like the, it's it's most straightforward use case, like what all like people have used it for. Uh, Cause it's it's been like, yeah, just about a month since we rolled the uh, feature out. So we're, we still don't have enough sort of uh, data to have a good read on how people are using it and all. But I personally, if you ask me, like it, it, again, it, it, I think it, it's most helpful when you have like, uh, a super nested sort of uh, setup of notes, like notes linked to notes, linked to notes kind of set, setup. Um, and by just using links and backlinks, like you can create the exact flow that you want uh, based on like your, like how you how you tend to go through those notes or how ten, you tend to use those notes. So again, um, large volumes of notes, that's where like it'll, it'll really show its, uh, its value. So if people are using this backlinks and, and they, have ideas. I mean, what is the best way for uh, customers to, to provide feedback to the company? So our most um, sort of empathic uh, users tend to uh, provide feedback directly on our forums, Evernote forums. Um, but, and I think we, we monitor that like very closely, like um, well, we as in like all the product people and um, folks on the customer support side also, in addition to the folks on customer support. So I would say that's like, you know, the best sort of um, uh, way for us to get like anecdotal sort of use cases. Uh, beyond that, of course, we'll obviously look at data and like see like how, what kind of usage patterns we see and like where we can make improvements and uh, things like that. Like, I mean, there's already things like, um, uh, uh, you know, people want to, people want to like, people, one of the things that we've seen so far is that people want it to pop out and like when you click on the backlink, they want it to pop out in a separate window like how you have like single note view rather than like being taken to that note. So things like that, you know, um, there's there's obviously things that we can always improve. You know, it's funny that you say that because I thought of that and I wasn't going to bring it up because I thought, you know what, I'm being too greedy. I got this really <laughs> great thing. <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, it's a fairly, I think, obvious thing. Well, Sid, thank you very much for the tour and for all of your work on uh, making this great feature happen. Yeah, my pleasure. It was great talking to you. Sid Tipperetti, Senior Product Manager at Evernote. I appreciate him joining us today, just as I appreciate you joining us. I write a lot about Evernote and about all sorts of other productivity issues in my weekly newsletter. If you're not a subscriber, it's absolutely free. Go to my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com, click on contact, and I'll get you all signed up. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me today.